Привет, друзья! Меня зовут Юля. And yesterday, after my quiz on Instagram, I received a lot of messages saying that it's impossible to read, that it, it was difficult. I know. I know that it is hard to uh, read Russian handwriting. And for us, for Russians, sometimes it's hard. We, uh, we solve it like a puzzle. That's why I decided to make this video to show you actually how, what tricks can you use to uh, understand what uh, it's written here. So firstly, let's see the difference between L, M and SH. And the first point that you probably notice that L and M starts over here, while SH, it's no, it's, it starts here. So if we have a look at the first uh, word, there is no this, this, this part. So probably it is SH. Yes? SH. So we count one, two, three. This is letter SH. This is the connection. And you see letter U. So this is SHUM. Yes? Second word. It starts here. So there are two options. L and M. Let's say it is M. M. So it ends here, but then this is... What is this letter? It's too short for E. E is like this. It's not really Y. No, then it's not M. This is L. If it is L, then this one is E, yes? E. Then it is leader. Leader. Next word. Again, it starts over here. So it's not L. It's not M. It is SH. So this is SH. This is E. Шесть. Шесть. Number six. Next one. Starts here. It can be L or it can be M. If it is L, then what, what is this? No, this letter doesn't exist, so it's probably not L. It's M. M. Here, the same logic. We use the same logic. We are solving a puzzle. It can be L. But then this is, what is this? It doesn't exist. It is M. As well, it is mama, and here honestly, knowing the vocabulary will help you a lot because when you read, you will understand that it, this word doesn't exist. Or also, what can help you is listening Russian uh, podcasts or Russian videos, even if you don't understand the meaning, you will get used to the sounds. And for example. I've got a lot of uh, questions that this is not Lily, this is Lil Sh. And if you read, if you listen, you know that Lil Sh, it even doesn't sound Russian. So it's not possible to read it as Lil Sh. Yes? So listening, reading will help you, and of course, learning the vocabulary will help you a lot. Then let's see how to uh, read L and M. How to see the difference between L and M. I have no idea how to explain it, but let's see. L has only obviously one top and M has two tops. Yes, like mountains. And they both, starts, uh, they both start over here. So here we need to count. We need to see what are the options. So if it is M, yes, M over here, then what is all this? No, it doesn't, it's, it's not possible. It's not possible. It doesn't, these letters uh, don't even exist. So if it is L, this is L, then this look, this is E. And this is connection with what? What letter? It can be L again. But then what is this? Does it make any sense? Yes? So this is Li. This is 
M O N. This is Limon. The more you read Russian handwriting, the more you will see all options how to connect words together. The easier it will be uh, for you later. Let's see the next one again. It starts over here. Yes, like here. It's not sh. It's either m or l. Hmm. So if it is l, yes, this is l. It stops here, and this then then it is sh. L sh. Again, it's not Russian. It doesn't sound Russian. It's difficult to pronounce. Pronounce. So it's not possible l sh. So it's probably it's not l. Then we have another option. It is m. M. M stops here, and then this only one option me. Me. Then this one is l, and this uy me li. Next one starts here, so it's not sh, it's l or m. Again, if it is m, m, it stops over here, and this is obviously letter n. What is this nonsense? Yeah, so it's not m. It's l. It stops over here, and this is obviously e. Yeka, linyeka, linyeka. And last one again. Can you try to to read using? I hope <laughs> what I explained was logical. Can you use this logic to guess what uh, it's written here? So do 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 do. M till here. It is M, and this is E. Mir, mir. Okay. So coming back. Okay, lumsh. And the most difficult was e and and sh. This is yeah. I know that this is nonsense. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Um, we need to count all these. Do do do. If there are no mistakes in writing, then. With counting, you can guess. Uh, you can read what is written. One, two, one, two, three. So it starts over here. So it's not e and not sh. It's l or m. If it is m, it stops here. What is this uh, Chinese letters? No. So it's not m. It's probably l. It stops over here. Then this one is l, and then I've got a lot of, as I said, ah, uh, and so li. You see this connection with what options? L or m? If it's m, it stops here. Then this is sh. Li m sh. It doesn't exist. As uh, many. I got a lot of um, responses that it was limush. If you read or if you listen to Russian language, you know that limush won't exist. So you use also common sense. So we try one more time. This is l, this is e, this is m. We say it's not possible because it won't it won't make sense. Then this is l as well. It's up here, and we have this. What is this? If it's sh, then what is this? It's obviously two e. One, two, three, four. Li, li, e, and this is connection. I know it's a nightmare, but I hope my. Explanation will help at least like tiny little bit, and this one. This is obviously d. This is obviously e, and we start to uh, guess and to count all these tabs. The e, the e, 
no, it's not possible. The E, it, no, it doesn't exist. So it's probably Sh, the Sh, the Sh. And after, it's not L, it's not M, because you need this connection uh, with L or M. So again, it's probably E or Sh. Second Sh after Sh, no. So it means it is E, E over here, yes? And one, two, three, it's sh again. The shish. Another logic that you can use, you can start from, from behind. So this is the, this is uh, e. Obviously, this is a soft sign. What can be next to the soft sign? E, e soft sign? No, it's not possible. So it is sh, yes, sh. Again, next to sh, another sh, no. So it is e, yes. And coming uh, next to e, another e, not possible. So it is again sh. And we coming back, d sh sh sh, d sh sh. And last. One, just to check if my explanation makes sense. Try to read what is written over here. So it starts here. It's probably L or M. Yes? Hmm, what it can be if it is L? Yes, L. This is what... Uh, Letter can be next to L. L -sh? L -sh? No. Impossible to pronounce. So probably it is E. It is E. Li. And then one, two, three, four. Four tops. So it's SH and one not possible. Two E not possible. So no. Something wrong over here. Probably it is not L. It is M. M. Next to M. What can be next to M? Sh? No. So it probably E. Me. So me. And we have one, two, three tops. It's Sh. Mishen. It's a target. Mishen. I hope it helped a little tiny bit. Um, if so, please tell me. I will feel a little bit better. If you still have any questions, um, let me know. And remember, with practice, with practice, uh, you will uh, read it. Uh, you will see the connections. You will see the options using your imagination, using your logic and vocabulary, if you know this word or not. Okay? Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.